The irony of today should not be lost on us. Today is Yom HaShoah, the Holocaust Memorial Day, and yet this is the day when the Israeli Defense Force has started to evacuate residents from Rafa with the intent and threat that it will come under siege and bombing very shortly. What I don't quite understand is how this can be going on at the same time as a mission in Cairo to gain a ceasefire, a ceasefire that Netanyahu says will not stop the Rafa attack. Well, then it's not a ceasefire, surely. A ceasefire is when you don't fire weapons during a particular period. And uh, a ceasefire with the intent that it's going to be broken and that it's going to be uh, and it's going to lead to an attack in Rafa uh, is, not, is not being entered into in the spirit of a ceasefire by either side with stories that the Hamas group intends to regroup and attack Israel uh, 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 and Israel intends to attack Rafa both sides have to commit to uh, a vested interest in peace. It's not beyond an impossibility that the Hamas fighters of today can be the politicians of tomorrow. After all, that was the basis on which modern Israel was established. Many of the early politicians in modern Israel were participants in the guerrilla war to gain independence from the British mandate. And so there should be sympathy. There should be a process of recognizing the common, uh, the common tropes between both Israel and Hamas and to finding some sort of resolution. There will not be resolution while both sides maintain a sort of crossed finger behind the back which says that they're going to go back to the gun the cannon and the bomb. There has to be an end in sight. And this is why I think the discussions about ceasefires and pauses are abstract and ultimately not positive. The only discussion that should be taking place and the discussion that should be um, principled and ongoing among Israel and Palestine's allies is the search for a lasting and credible peace. It is the only discussion. And the fact that Turkey has withdrawn from trade with Israel, um, again, th th this is sanctions in all but name. Sanctions do not work. Sanctions close the door to negotiation. Turkey, I think, has every opportunity, has every, um, is, is supremely positioned to broker a deal, as indeed is Qatar. Uh, but I think Turkey is the more reputable site. And the, the, the war is in nobody's interests, except possibly Mr. Putin's.